cards. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the first press conference of the 2021 Solheim Cup. We're looking at cameras. <laughs> Um, I'm here with European Captain Katrina Matthew and Vice Captains Catherine Imry, Dame Laura Davies and Suzanne Pettersson. If you have a question on Zoom, please use the chat function and raise your hand. Make sure you're muted and we'll unmute you when that comes to the time. And any questions in the room, please use the microphone as guided and we'll point to you. Can you turn the volume up, Jeff? I can't hear. Yeah. I know. Maybe take the mask. I can hear. Not not. Is that it? Are we done? No questions. Hello. Test think, can you hear me? Um, I think it's the mask. I can't really hear what you're saying, but it doesn't matter. Okay. We'll okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Katrina, we're finally here at the 2021 Solheim Cup. How much are you looking forward to the week and how have the first few days been for you? Yeah, it's, it's uh, great to finally be here. Uh, there's obviously a lot of preparation goes into it. So to actually be here and, you know, see it all the, the stands up and the, the crowds beginning to come is uh, the excitement starting to build. Um, you know, it's great having the team here and the players getting to see the golf course the last couple of days. So, um, yeah, it's getting exciting. Um, you know, now can't wait for Saturday to come, to be honest. And as a team, you've got the same vice captains as last time. Obviously, Suzanne was a player, but she's back in as vice captain. How have you found the process this time compared to Glen Eagles in 2019? Yeah, I think this time, um, really, the focus has really just been on the team. I think last time, with it being a home match um, and living only you know an hour and a half from Glen Eagles, there was a lot of more uh, media kind of commitments you had to do promoting the event. So. Um, this time, obviously, haven't been able to, with COVID, travel to the States last year. So um, this year really has been just completely just focused on the team and everything, everything to do with that. So, uh, yeah, in that respect, it's been slightly different. And how have the first few days been here at Inverness? Obviously, the team's arrived and you've been out on the course. How have you found it? Yeah, uh, we played, um, obviously some of them played a few holes yesterday and they were all out in the course today. So, um, you know, I think they all love it. Um, you know, quite a few of them played in the drive on last year, so they knew the golf course. And, um, you know, I think it's playing fairly similar. Um, obviously, it's been uh, pretty windy today, but, um, you know, I think uh, the, the greens here are, are pretty tricky with uh, some kind of subtle little slopes, but uh, the players are keen and um, you know they're out on the golf course getting to know it so uh, it's all going well. And a question for Suzanne, what's it like being on the vice as a vice captain this time in comparison to playing last time? Well I'm uh, happy to be back, it's a little bit weird walking by the driving range the first time, uh, not having to pull out your clubs but uh, I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, uh, I think all four of us have gotten to know each other quite well over the last four years, uh, so to say. And uh, um, yeah, just happy to see everyone here. And Catherine and Laura, are you happy to be back and again in this captaincy role alongside Katrina? Well, for me, it's a, a thrill to be working alongside Katrina as always and a thrill to be back in Toledo. I have fond memories of... Uh, my LPG win, sorry Laura, <laughs> um, back in 95 down at Highland Meadows, so it's got fond memories for me and uh, Katrina's just doing such a great job getting in all of us, Suzanne and Laura and myself, doing our roles to make sure that Beanie looks good at the end of the week. And we'll open up for any questions on Zoom. We'll see what we get then. 
Steve in the room. If you go to the microphone behind you. Suzanne, you've talked about walking past the driving range without your clubs. Did you want to have them? No. <laughs> <laughs> How much golf do you play now? Uh, zero. <laughs> well, uh, I really haven't played much golf since uh, two years ago. Uh, I really got my hands full. Uh, and uh, having a second child hasn't given me any more time. So um, I do miss it, but uh, at the same time, I'm really enjoying a different part of life. And uh, um, yeah, just uh, enjoying motherhood, to be honest. What were the emotions like when you got the uniforms and you put these clothes back on and know you're back out here with this team? It's kind of funny because it's, it all feels like it was yesterday. Even though you've been away, I mean, you stay in touch, you talk to all these girls uh, along the, I mean, throughout the year. So uh, it's not like you're completely out of it. But um, I must say, it's something that feels very natural. It's kind of, it's been a part of our lives for so many years. So um, I have to say, like, you pick it up pretty quickly. And Beanie, what's it like having the gang back together? I think it's great. We've, um, as Suzanne said, we've got uh, to know each other well over the last four years. And, uh, you know, we have a great fun together. We all bring something different to the team. And, um, you know, hopefully I think we all gel well together. And, uh, you know, we have great fun out there. Thanks, Steve. Kent, you've got your hand raised. Please, can you unmute yourself and ask your question? <laughs> Anyone else? There's one more. Nope. Well, they're phoning questions in. Uh, Ken, if you can unmute yourself again and ask again. If not, put the question in the chat function and I'll be able to read it out. I have no idea. Can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. Katrina, how do you see Mel's experience as a vice captain in 2019 informing her leadership role as a player on this year's team? I think, I think it, it really helps, actually. I mean, Mel, it was a tough situation, really, for her last year. She just missed out on making the team. But um, I think she jumped at the chance of being a vice captain, didn't need to think of it twice. Um, I think that really just shows the, the passion and the, the desire she has for the, for the team to do well. Um, you know, she realizes it's not, it's not about the individual, it's about the team. So um, I think having the experience of... Um, you know, being behind the scenes and seeing it from another kind of angle will really help her um, out there in the golf course and with uh, the rookies and things. How do you see it helping her on the golf course? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't catch that. How do you see that experience helping her on the golf course? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, she'll, she'll be a big help with the rookies. I mean, I think, um, and the less experienced players, I mean, I think you're looking at probably, you know, her, Anna, Carlotta, the ones who have played in you know, a few different Solheims, just to, just when they're out playing practice rounds, you know, just to chat together and, you know, they'll just be talking about, you know, their different experiences in the Solheims and what the rookies maybe to expect, you know, in an away match and, you know, what the first tee is going to be like and, and just different perhaps strategies on the golf course. So um, I think it's great to have those experienced players in there to, I mean, it's not like a formal thing, but just as they're chatting on their way around in the practice rounds. Thanks. Phil Casey, do you want to unmute yourself? Yeah, I've typed the question just in case you can't hear me, but um, I wanted to ask Katrina, um, how difficult is it to win in America in normal circumstances, and how much harder is it going to be without so many European mm -hmm. fans able to attend? Thank you. Well, I think the fact we've only won once in uh, Colorado shows how difficult it is away to, uh, to win away from home. Um, I mean, obviously this year is going to be, be more difficult and be more of a challenge for us. But I think in a way we can nearly rise to that rather than just thinking, 
we're going to have a few fans. We're kind of really expecting very, I mean, basically about zero fans. Um, you know, obviously a few um, Europeans will perhaps living in the States make it here, but um, it certainly won't be the same presence that we normally have at an away match. But, um, you know, I think the players are, are going to be mentally prepared for that. So, um, you know, I think it, it just gives them another challenge and another, another thing to try and overcome and get that victory. And I know, obviously, it's only practice at the moment, but have you seen any European fans dotted around the course? Seen the odd European flag. So there's going to be a few of us there. Excellent. Good luck this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Martin, do you want to ask your question? Hi there. Uh, Katrina, I was just wondering what sort of work you've got to do on your parents over the next three days. Uh, are you sort of good ideas in your head about the, the balance of the team? Um, you know, I think obviously between the four of us, we've got kind of good ideas about, um, you know, pairings, um, you know, for the first days and the f mixture of foursomes, four balls. So, um, you know, just probably finalising them in the next couple of days. But um, I think we've got a pretty good idea of what we're, what we're looking at. Not going to give any away, though. <laughs> no, I didn't expect you to. Obviously, Anna Nordquist has come into the team room as a, the, the Women's Open champion. Do, do you sense a bit of sort of split up this week? I think, uh, yeah, I think for Anna, I mean, obviously coming in, winning a major, um, you're going to come in with a, a huge amount of confidence. And just that whole leader bear board at Carnoustie for us with um, obviously Nana, Madeline, Georgia all being up there was, I think that, to be honest, a boost for them individually and a boost for the whole team to, be, to see, um, you know, so many of the European players and their teammates up there last week or two weeks ago at Carnoustie. So, and for Anna, yeah, I mean, I think any time you win a golf tournament, uh, especially a major gives you a real boost of confidence. Thank you. Good luck this week. Thanks, Martin. Are there any more questions on Zoom or in the room? <laughs> Brian Keogh, if you unmute yourself, please. Yes, hi, thanks. Um, just for Katrina. I was just wondering, you know, Leona Maguire has a lot of uh, match play experience as an amateur. What do you expect from her in, uh, in, on her Solheim Cup debut? Would you be relying heavily on her given her form or would you be easing her into it? Um, you know, I mean, as you say, she's got a tremendous record, um, amateur golf and match play and Curtis Cup and things. And, you know, has been playing well the last year and a half. I mean, I think we've actually got a a tricky problem this year that so many of our players are playing well, but she'll certainly be certainly be featuring there in some of the games. Thank you. Anyone else? Amy, in the room. I'm curious if each of you could share what you remember about your rookie experience and uh, what sort of advice you shared with the first timers on your team. Well, for me, I'll go first. Um, you know, my first one was uh, Muirfield Village in 98, um, very much a rookie. Um, I remember I was in the first foursomes. Um, I was fortunate enough to get a pretty good partner in Anacott. Um, but I remember, um, <laughs> I don't know whether it was good or bad, but I was playing the odd hole, so I had the first tee shot being the away team. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you walk on to that tee and, and you're, you're, yeah, I mean, I think it is the most nervous you are, but I think when you're playing and you're, at, you're playing your best, um, I mean, that's what you've worked for, you know, your whole career is to for these moments. So I think obviously you're nervous on the first tee, but you quickly get over it and, and settle into the match. And obviously the event has grown hugely since then, back in 98. And I mean, the first tee here looks, looks amazing. And I'm sure the, you know, the rookies, not, not even the rookies, all the players are going to be, you walk down on, as you come down through the stand here onto the first tee, it's going to be, you know, it, you, it's a real mixture of emotions. You're, you're nervous, you're excited. So, I mean, it's just getting off that first tee and then they'll get going. Um, well, my, my rookie one was 1990, so we were all rookies. We'd never played in it before, so we, we were all terrified at the same time. Well, the European team were. I think the Americans had a lot of experience, and, and it was just... Um, yeah, as Beanie said, it was really nerve-wracking. I remember the first tee like it was yesterday. Lopez and Bradley walked on the tee, and they were our opponents for that first foursomes. But it was also excitement and um, just enjoying it. And that's, well, that's, what, 15, 16 Solheims ago. And even, even as a 
there's no pressure of, of being a, a vice captain, but you feel nervous for the players because you know what they're going to experience. And if they ask any questions, you know, just give them a bit of advice, maybe if if you can. And um, but the main thing we were talking last night, you just enjoy it because. It is nerve-wracking, but you've, you've worked so hard to get here. Don't let the nerves overtake you. My rookie year was in 96, and I'll never forget playing with Lotte Neumann and our, our foursomes game was coming down the last. All the other matches had finished, and I hit a bunker shot out to about six feet, and Lotte's probably one of the best putters ever. And Although she did put her first putt in the first hole, 10-foot pass, and I'll, I did remind her about that, but she asked me... Um, it was, it was six feet away, and I'd never read a putt all day, and then all of a sudden she said, Catherine, will you take a look at this putt? And I went, okay. Came over, and I just said to her, what do you see? And she said, right lip. I said, perfect, go and do it. But the, the whole message there was that even the top players get nervous too, but um, she was great to play with and really helped me, and I felt that was um, something that we'll probably try and do, get the rookies paired with more experienced. Well, my first one was uh, 2002, Minnesota. Um, I guess that's where I dropped the famous F word, uh, live TV, NBC. Um, but uh, <laughs> I think I was paired with the Alfie, uh, the first match, uh, or my first match. And uh, when it came down to who was going to hit the tee ball, um, there was no discussion. I had to do it. So I just kind of got thrown right into it um, and uh, never looked back. It was, it's a great experience. It's a great kind of atmosphere. And um, what I enjoyed the most is probably the, Solheim has brought so much more than golf um, into kind of my career and to all of our careers. And you kind of build and bond with the players um, on your same team across the other team. Uh, and you share moments that will last forever. So. I think that's kind of what I've enjoyed the most with the Solheims and uh, uh, been able to play with a lot of icons in women's golf through all the years. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. Is there anyone else with a question? Yeah, right here. Hello? Hello? If you yeah, go here. ahead and ask your question. Can you hear me? Yeah. First, yeah. First I'd, I'd like to welcome the girls to Toledo. Tell them not to be nervous. Toledo's a friendly town. I'd like to know how the European captains are chosen and how many uh, you think you need as far as assistance. How do you decide that? Well, I don't know how I was chosen, actually. I was just asked, and uh, I wasn't in the choosing process, obviously. So, um, yeah, uh, they asked me to do it, and uh, obviously was delighted. Um, as for the vice captains, I think that's just uh, a kind of standard thing in the Solheim that each team, I think, as it's, the events evolved, um, we've come to the kind of three vice captains, and that's kind of what both teams do. So um, I think these things just kind of change perhaps over the years. But um, for me personally, I think three vice captains is just perfect. That's all the questions. We'll wrap up. Thank you very much for attending. And thanks to Katrina, Laura, Suzanne, and Catherine. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you. Thank thanks. You.